Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. A quick video on Stalker 2 because recently on the 9th of December last week from the time I'm recording this uh, new screenshots were released to the world uh, also on the official Twitter feed of the Stalker Twitter feed. They don't really release a lot of information about the game uh, on the Twitter feed. There's a lot of stalker fan art and there are some messages about the pre-order physical retail editions that you can buy and you get all these goodies or crap depends on how you look at it you get a uh, a keychain some cards a map i think um, a box some artwork a statue that looks actually quite nice you see this stalker dude with the uh, with an artifact in his hand, and also this apparatus that holds an artifact. So that's for those fans out there that really want to invest in this game. Uh, I, I I don't buy into this stuff. I have some games. I have bonuses, pre-order bonuses, but usually I am against pre-ordering games because you just don't know what in what state the game will be released on release date and you're always paying the maximum amount of money for it. So there's really no benefit from pre-ordering games, in my opinion. Maybe you see that differently. Let me know in the comments. Now, anyway, let's go to these screenshots. As you can see, Again, they don't release a lot of information, um, so I, I checked the um, oh, um, like the pre-order thing was in August, and from August there's really nothing going on until the uh, the 9th of December. You have these screenshots, so let's take a look at these screenshots. This one is particularly uh, very stalker-like. Um, obviously, you'll be going through a underground tunnel thing and. There's this creature at the end of it. It's difficult to see what it really looks like, but it's definitely some kind of mutant that has his trousers blown off or something. It, it just doesn't... I don't know what kind of creature it is. Anyway, but what's great is that... Uh, look at the graphic. Look at the, the tiles here. You see the moist on the tiles, as this is a dampy place. Obviously, there's a lot of rubble lying around. Apparently, this game runs on the Unreal 5 engine. So, yeah, lots of attention to detail, it seems. Great screenshot. Um, nice weapon. Small machine rifle. Sort of resembles an AK. But I'm no expert on guns. So, let's go on to this screenshot. That shows off a little village, it seems. It does remind me a bit of Rookie Village. Again, a lot of detail, all kinds of rubble lying around. Uh, decaying buildings, a car that's broken down. There's this, probably another stalker just walking along the path. Definitely has that Rookie Village uh, style to it. It also reminds me, strangely enough, to the first... A village. I'm not sure. Good. What was it? Good. No, not Good Springs, because that's that's the the New Vegas village. But the the first village um, where you get your first settlement in in Fallout 4. It does remind me a bit of that uh, little village that you uh, that you visit at the beginning of the game. Um, the weather looks fairly nice. Things are have cleared up definitely. There's some vegetation, but not much else uh, going on here. Again. A, a pistol type of weapon in both hands. Again, the attention to detail is very, very good. I mean, look at the um, look at these gloves and uh, all the, the the cracks on the leather. It, it's just very, very detailed. That's the thing I take the most from these screenshots. Anyway, <clears throat> moving on to this one. Uh, as you go through this passage. Uh, obviously, you're coming out of a building here, but there's this anomaly that makes it so that all the rubble that lies around just gets blown into this this whirlwind type of situation. And again, beautiful graphics. You know, if this is in-game, 
then it's ridiculously detailed. Not sure uh, whether this is going to run in this, you know, with this kind of detail on my PC, but it just looks really gorgeous. Again, a lot of attention to detail. Look at the crumbling wall and the and these 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 things that come out of the wall. It, nothing feels copy pasted. It just looks amazing. It just looks amazing. I have to say. Now this one. In particular, I found a little bit unstalker-ish like. I mean, these beautiful f fields of flowers and the the nice fences. This this looks more like a a dreamscape or uh, some kind of dream that the main character has. I don't know. And this figure that stands on the path uh, at the house, it just doesn't look like a place that I'm familiar of from the first three games, but it's it looks nice and interesting. It would have been nice to have some really strange vegetation because of the radiation and all that, but this looks like some beautiful flowers where these leaves are get, get blown in the wind, it seems. More like a dreamscape uh, screenshot than anything else, as I said. Now look at the detail on this machine gun or this rifle type weapon, again, scratches left and right, uh, beautiful, beautiful graphics. Again, if this is in game, then, I mean, this is going to look beautiful. Moving on to the last screenshot, it's this one that looks very eerie. Oh God, I, I just can't imagine three of these dogs just, just rushing at you and this, this guy trying to desperately reload his gun or this 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 what looks like a shotgun type of weapon look at the markings on the left side of the weapon and the the scratches on the wood looks very detailed and again the gloves again very detailed man you just don't want to be in this place at this time you have to admit there's this cart on the tracks uh, this looks like a a railroad placement type of location. But with all these screenshots, I do wonder whether it's open world more or less, or it's is it is it fairly linear? Because again, can you just hop over the fence and just walk into the fields in this one? Or you have to follow the path? Um, this looks like a fairly closed off area with the fence that goes on into the distance. So is it all more or less open? I hope it will be pretty much like in the first three games. The here the suggestion is that there's that it is a fairly open and spacious area that you can visit. So yeah, interesting screenshots. Um, yeah, overall I am I'm, I am. Uh, looking forward to it. I'm not super hyped because again, when you're hyping something, you are setting yourself up for disappointment. So wait and see when this comes out somewhere in, I thought it was February 28th, or is it April 20, the 28th of next year? I hope that it will not be uh, delayed. Could be, hopefully not, but um, yeah. This game is going to be huge, in at least in install size, because I've read somewhere it's going to be like 150 gigabytes on your hard disk, and maybe on consoles it's something like 180, something like that. Anyway, hope you liked the video. Let me know what you think of these screenshots, and see you next time.